I've got a short video for today. Uh, I've got my Central Pneumatic, the Harbor Freight, uh, two and a half horsepower, 21 gallon, 125 psi air compressor. Uh, decided to uh, stop building pressure. Probably bought 20 psi a few days ago, and uh, and I'll show you what I found was wrong with it and how easy it is to fix. So when I turned it on and it was pumping, the uh, cold start valve right here was fluttering up and down really fast and all the air was coming out on top. So I thought that was bad. And a little bit more Google searching after pulling that out, I uh, found out that it could be something more internal. Uh, so I pulled the head off. It's just four bolts. It's a number five Allen key and a three quarter inch bolt for the air inlet. Out, out, output, whichever one it is. Pulled the head off and the gasket and discovered that my reed valve was broken. Ordered one on eBay, just under $8. It came in today, so I'm going to install that, see if it fixes my problem. So uh, the new reed valves, bought stainless steel ones, allegedly they won't rust and break like the old ones will. There's a little note on there that says don't bend them when you take the tape off. Well, let's try not to bend these. There's one. Fits good. There's two. Looks like they fit in place rather well. Let's take the old ones out. Put that head back on. Alright, I put the head gasket back on, and I didn't opt to replace it. We'll see if I regret that decision later. Run everything out. Uh, these weren't very tight taking them out, so I'm not going to put them extremely tight putting them back in.
tight enough. back on. and tighten the cold start valve back down and give this a try. Oh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, yes, my gauges are broken, but it's actually building pressure past the 40 mark, which is about 20 psi, and uh, seems to be working again. Easy fix without you know videotaping. It takes about five minutes to take that head off and put it back on, and I think it was like seven dollars and seventy-five cents for some replacement reed valves. So if you feel like saving your air compressor, and that's what's going on with you, have at it. Easy peasy, no special tools quick repair. Like, comment, subscribe.